hey, Republican voters against Trump, go you. Y'all are awesome. So uh, my name is Mark Becker. I'm from Wisconsin. Um, actually, real talk, I am the former Brown County Republican Party chairman. So I led the party um, in, in that area. So that's Green Bay and the metropolitan area in northeast Wisconsin. So it's kind of a, a pretty critical area here for, for 2020. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I, I led the party. I wrote the talking points. That was that was what I did. Um, and that was kind of, you know, shortly after uh, the 2010 wave. I was vice chairman of 2010. Then I moved to chairman after that. Um, and I was chairman for two years. So uh, even when I was chairman, I, I kind of saw the big picture of things. My wife is uh, a person of color. Uh, my brother is gay. So, you know, I had the idea that, hey, you know, maybe I could change things from the inside because I can see what's right and what's wrong. Uh, I was the only uh, chairman in the state of Wisconsin to come out in favor and support marriage equality. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I could see the big picture. Um, and then after I was chairman, I was a local elected official on the Brown County Board. Uh, and that was around the time where Donald Trump started his rise to prominence. And during that whole time, uh, and I don't want to say that uh, the party changed. I think it's more of the worst part of the party just became so mainstream. So like racism, xenophobia, bigotry. Um, it's just this this whole trumped up nationalistic, you know, view that 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 results in chaos and confusion and anger, and that's how you know he leads. And I could see the party changing. I, when I was um, an elected official, I, I was so vocal against it um, and spoke out against it because obviously when I said, oh, I can change things from the inside, oh, was I wrong. Um, and so what I decided to do in 2015 and 2016 is um, instead of changing it from the inside, well, um, I guess I'll fight for what is right and for what is good but do it on the other side because clearly that's the way to go. So no, I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. That was the first time I ever voted for someone other than a Republican. Um, and I'm proud to do that again this year in 2020. I'll be supporting Joe Biden. I'll be supporting everybody on the left because we need wholesale change, y'all. And that starts here in Wisconsin and it's gonna spread all over the country. So we need you guys to be involved. We need you guys to tell your friends you know, drive people to the polls if you feel safe doing that. But the the, the thing is, um, the Republican Party has so lost itself. And I think it is crazy telling. And, I, and I'm going to be really interested to see on November 4th what happens when, after Donald Trump, God, you know, hope he loses. After he loses, the Republican Party as a whole is going to have a lot to answer to. You know, because every time he says... He has said something crazy or ridiculous or hate-filled. The party and his allies and elected officials in Congress, they, did, they haven't disavowed it. They doubled down on it. And so for them to, to, to embrace and to lock their arms and circle the wagons, whatever you know, describing phrase you want to use, what they did was you know, put their thumb down even harder. When it came to things like Donald Trump saying George Floyd would be, you know, proud of the jobs numbers. What? What? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And so um, I, I am so thrilled to be um, on the other side, the side of good, the side of right. Um, and I want to encourage all of you guys to do that, too. Get involved, make phone calls, do whatever you got to do, because this is so critical. And we need change. So thank you guys. Hang in there. Let's get it done.